What's going on you guys? Appreciate you guys being here as always. Hope you guys are doing well. So I'm getting pretty excited about this series. Um, got really good feedback from you guys on that first initial video for this video series. Just kind of open it up to you guys. Let me know by comments what you guys wanted to see in regards to coyote tips, tactics, ideas or strategies, anything like that. And you guys did provide good feedback, giving me lots of ideas on what you wanted to see. And I'm gonna plan on putting together a lot of videos in a big playlist or a big series and just kind of go through those and hopefully help you guys out. So just to kind of get things started here, we're gonna start pretty much video one with just kind of the basics, getting started in coyote hunting. That's one of the nice things about coyote hunting is you actually don't need a whole lot to get started. A lot of you guys that are watching this probably have quite a bit of this already and maybe just need to buy one or two things to get you out the door, get you out there looking for coyotes, tracking coyotes down and hopefully killing them. Now a full disclaimer before we get too far along, it starts out pretty basic, but if you get hooked at it, you can end up putting quite a bit of time and quite a bit of money into it. But that's what we live for, right? The adrenaline, the rush, the challenge, all that good stuff. So let's get started with the basics. I'm gonna to try to keep these videos pretty quick and to the point because there's gonna be a lot of videos coming in this series. So getting right into it, the basics of coyote hunting, you only need a few things. You need a way to call them in. You need some camo to conceal yourself if you're a daytime hunter. You need some sort of firearm to be able to kill the coyotes. And then you need coyotes. That's the most important piece of the puzzle. So just a quick overview of the calls. You can see right here what I've got is, this is called an electronic or an e-collar. Uh, this is electronic by remote control. This is a Lucky Duck. Uh, this is the Roughneck version. Lucky Duck puts out quite a few different variations of calls as well as Fox Pro. I've got a Fox Pro over there that you guys have probably seen on the channel as well. But this video is not to dive into the electric call itself, but I'm gonna put some good ideas on what I think are some starting callers for you guys to take a look at down below in the links. Take a look at those there. And I didn't start out uh, with anything like this. I started out real basic, real cheap, several, several years ago, and actually started out a long time ago with cassette tapes and a cassette player. But anyway, I'll put some links down below on what I think are some more budget-friendly calls. You don't have to go kind of top of the line right off the bat. Uh, that's the electronic caller. We've got a few different things sitting over here. Give you just a high-level uh, introduction on these. This is a hand call, so this is a rabbit distress call here. And on down the video line, we'll get into more of these, um, more into electronic callers, things like that. But this is just what you need to get you out in the field. So this is a hand call rabbit distress right here. Uh, this right here is a howler. This is what they call an open read. Uh, as you can see, the reads right here and it's open. So it's not exposed. They make some howlers where it's closed like this, where you can't see the read. Uh, but this is an open read howler with a bullhorn right here. And then one that I use the most of, uh, not this one specifically, but is a mouth diaphragm for howls and distress. I do a lot of my howling by diaphragm, and like I say, we'll get into that in a different video series. But that kind of takes care of the callers, the way to attract coyotes into your location. Uh, moving in next to camo, I'm not going to get in the closet here and dig out what I use for camo. I use a lot of Sitka for daytime stuff. It just blends in well where I'm at. But the main thing for you guys can be Walmart, can be dollar store, um, old cut up stuff that you make yourself, spray paint, whatever it is, you just need to try to blend in to your surroundings uh, if you're a daytime hunter. Nighttime, take a pair of work pants, a black hooded sweatshirt. If you're hunting at night, camo doesn't matter. They're not gonna see you anyway. So use whatever you have, just get out there, start calling, start killing some coyotes. Uh, moving next, I got some guns behind me here. I'll just show you kind of what you can get started with. Um, first is just trusty old 12 gauge, 20 gauge, whatever you want to use. I use a Benelli, the Su Supernova. This is 12 gauge. We'll get into calibers and what I use later in a different video, but I'm just showing you guys right now what you need to get started with. Uh, bolt action rifle. This is what I use for daytime hunting. Rifle-wise, almost every stand that I go to in a daytime hunt, I take not only my rifle with me, but I'll take the shotgun as well because you just never know when one's gonna come in close range and it's real fun getting them in close and shooting them with shotguns anyway. And then next, 
you guys that have been following the channel for quite a while, you've seen this one quite a bit. This is my nighttime setup with the thermal scope on top. Love this thing. This is the Pulsar Thermion up top. Like I say, we're not going to get into each caliber that I use right now. That'll come at a different time. But you can use AR-15s, bolt actions, shotguns, whatever you want, whatever you have. That will get you out there and be able to kill some coyotes. So that's kind of the basics. You just need some camo for daytime hunting. You need some calls to lure them into you. And you need something to kill them with. And the last thing is just having coyotes. Uh, if, you, if you're a deer hunter, I'm sure you hear them howling in the mornings and the night. Coyote hunt there. We'll get into finer details later on locating coyotes and uh, just what to look for in that aspect. But that's the basics of coyote hunting, guys. It's, it's pretty simple. The main thing that you probably don't already have if you're just getting into it is the electronic collar and maybe some of these. And if you're just starting, you don't need all this. You can just get started with hand calls or you can just get started with an electronic collar. Like I say, we'll get into this stuff in a later video, but that's it guys. That's, that's as simple as it is to get started. That's the basics of coyote hunting right there. We'll get into a lot more detailed videos on further equipment that I use. There's a lot more that I use than just this because I'm a night hunter and I record all my hunts, but that's the basics of coyote hunting. Also make sure you're subscribed and you hit that notification bell because this is gonna be a long video series with several more to come. And if you don't hit that notification bell, you're not gonna know when the newest video is out. So appreciate all you guys being here. Comment down below if you have any questions. Happy hunting. Be safe. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.